Here he comes. Here he comes. Boogeyman living in a scary house. Telling us scaries with a stitched up mouth. Welcome to the scary show. The home of grunge storytelling. <laughs> the Scary Show is proud to partner with Dubby Energy, the premier energy drink alternative. If you're like me, you've been consuming at least one of those other energy drinks at least once a day, spending anywhere from two to three bucks a can. But with Dubby, you get a whole month's supply in just one tub for close to $25 cheaper. And it gets even better. Use promo code The Scary Show for an additional 10% off. I never should have gone to the Meat Pit restaurant. I had heard the rumors, of course. Everyone in town had. They say that the place was cursed, that it was built on top of an ancient burial ground and that the food was made of human flesh. But I didn't believe it. I thought it was all just a silly superstition, a way for the locals to scare tourists like me. But now, as I sit here in the dimly lit dining room, surrounded by the smell of blood and death, I realized just how wrong I was. I had arrived at the meat pit just before sunset, drawn in by the promise of cheap, hearty meals. The exterior of the building was unremarkable, just a ramshackle wooden structure with a flickering neon sign that read meat pit in bold red letters. But as soon as I stepped inside, I knew something was off. The air was thick thick with the smell of raw meat and rot, and the walls were adorned with grotesque paintings of animals being slaughtered. The floor was slick with blood and viscera, and the only other customer in the place was a grizzled old man who stared at me with milky white eyes as I made my way to a table. I sat down, trying to ignore the creeping sense of unease that had settled in my gut. The menu was handwritten on a piece of yellowing paper, and as I scanned my options, my stomach churned. There were dishes like human ribs and tongues to listed alongside more mundane items like burgers and fries. I tried to convince myself that it was all a joke, but as I waited for the waitress to take my order, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was very, very wrong. When the waitress finally approached, she was a gaunt, pallid woman with a fixed, empty smile. She took my order without a word and then disappeared into the kitchen, leaving me alone with my thoughts and the ominous sound of sizzling meat. As I waited for my food, I couldn't help but wonder what was really on the menu. I had heard rumors of the meat pit before, but I had never given them much thought. Now, as I sat in the shadowy restaurant, I couldn't shake the feeling that there was something sinister lurking in the darkness. Now, as I sat in the shadowy restaurant, I couldn't shake the feeling that there was something sinister lurking in the shadows. Just as I was starting to lose my nerve, the waitress returned with my food. It was a plate of greasy ribs, smothered in a thick red sauce. I took a bite, trying to ignore the strange metallic taste, and then froze as I saw something moving in the sauce. I looked closer. 
and my blood ran cold. There were maggots writhing in the thick red sauce, feasting on the scraps of flesh that clung to the bones. I gagged and pushed the plate away, my appetite gone. The waitress just stared at me with an empty smile as if she knew exactly what I had seen. I tried to leave, but the door was locked, and when I turned back to the waitress, she had disappeared, leaving me alone in the meat pit with the sounds of sizzling meat and the stench of death. I don't know how long I sat there, waiting for someone to come and let me out. It could have been hours. Or it could have been days. All I know is that I was trapped in that hellish restaurant. Surrounded by the horrors of that place. I'll never forget that smell for as long as I live. If you enjoy the stories you find here, please subscribe and click the top bell for all notifications. So that you never miss an episode of this scary show. Hit the like button. Think of it like applause at the end of a show. Questions, comments, suggestions? Let me know down below. And if you wouldn't mind, share this video so that others can discover The Scary Show. Thank you for watching. And remember, The Scary Show always answers the fans. Unless YouTube hides your comments from me.